Hello and welcome to another video. So factoring is one of the skills that you need to have to solve many equations that we'll be dealing with in algebra, pre-calculus and even in calculus or in any other subject or um, concept that you're trying to grasp. However, sometimes the basic knowledge that you have may not be the straightforward thing you, you're going to apply. For example, if I was given this to factor, I would quickly remember difference of two squares and apply it. And that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to say um, this is going to be x minus y, x plus y, plus 2x plus 1. It doesn't help me. But this because this is not factored. Okay. Yeah, it looks a little bit factored, but this is not the kind of expression you have. When you factor an expression, you want to have only parentheses multiplying the terms. Okay, we need that to be able to solve uh, com complicated or complex um, um, expressions like this if they become equations. So this is not valid. So um, difference of two squares did not help us. Um, what if we put x squared and 2x together and put y squared and 1 together. Maybe that might be the secret. So we're going to say um, x squared plus 2x. Then we have, um, in fact, I'm going to write plus 1 minus y squared. So here I can factor x out here and I'm going to have x plus 2. Then I'm going to have plus this is difference of two squares, so that's 1 minus y, 1 plus y. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, 1 minus y and 1 plus y. Is this any better? No, because there's nothing common to both sides of the terms, so... Uh, So this is the kind of frustration that sets in when you need to factor and you don't know what to do. So you see, I have factored using just the basic knowledge that I have and I've paired things together and the pairing appears to not help me. I still have this plus sign. No, you can't have this when you factor. So what would I do? Now that I've tried two, maybe I should take three things together. Okay, take three things that can go together. For example, you can see that x squared and 2x and 1 can go together. It looks like a quadratic expression. Okay, now once you see that, maybe you can factor that as if you want to solve a quadratic equation. So we're going to try the third option, which will be x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus y squared. Can we factor this? Because this actually looks like a perfect square. It's a perfect square binomial, okay, because you can say what two numbers will you multiply to get plus 1, and when you add them, you're going to get plus 2. Well, those numbers are 1 and 1, so this is actually a perfect square binomial, which is going to be x plus 1 squared. Okay, minus y squared. Now this is difference of two squares. So my next line is going to be this minus this, then this plus this. So that's our final expression. x plus 1 minus y and x plus 1 plus y. If you want to rearrange or change the position of this, that's your business. But that's your answer. Always look for the trinomial that could be a perfect square binomial. If it looks like a quadratic equation, try see if you can factor it into a perfect square. Usually when you get questions like that, that's what you get. Don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.